Welcome to ETA Pro. I'm Carlos Batista. The subject for today is cleaning and corrosion control. This channel helps provide guidance to aircraft maintenance technicians, AMT, who wants to become familiar with the requirements and to successfully obtain a FAA airframe and power plant certificate. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell notification for future videos. Let's get started. The lifting or flaking of the metal of the surface due to delamination of grain boundaries caused by pressure of corrosion residual produced buildup. It's called exfoliation. Which of these materials is the most anodic? Magnesium. Intergranular corrosion in aluminum alloy parts cannot always be detected by surface indications. Fretting corrosion is most likely to occur when two surfaces fit tightly together but cannot move relative to one another. One way of obtaining increased resistance to stress corrosion cracking is by creating compressive stress on the metal surface. Which of the following are acceptable when utilizing chemical cleaning agents on aircraft? One, synthetic fiber wiping cloths when using a flammable agent. Two, cotton fiber wiping cloths when using a flammable agent. Three, Automizing spray equipment. Two, cotton fiber wiping cloths when using a flammable agent. And three, automizing spray equipment. Corrosion caused by galvanic action is the result of contact between two unlike metals. Which of the following are the desired effects of using allodyne on aluminum alloys? One, a slightly rough surface. Two, relieve surface stresses. 3. A smooth painting surface. 4. Increase corrosion resistance. 1. A slightly rough surface. And 4. Increase corrosion resistance. For which of the following reason would a water break test be conducted? To make certain that a bare metal surface is thoroughly clean. Which of the following are acceptable to use in cleaning anodized surfaces? 1. Steel wool. 2. Brass wire brush. 3. Aluminum wool. 4. Stainless steel wire brush. 5. Fiber brittle brush. 3. Aluminum wool. And 5. Fiber brittle brush are acceptable to use in cleaning anodized surfaces. Galvanic corrosion is likely to be the most rapid and severe when the surface area of the anodic metal is similar than the surface area of the cathodic metal. Which of the following is an acceptable first step procedure to help prevent scratching when cleaning a transparent plastic surface? Flush the surface with clean water. What may be used to remove corrosion from a highly stressed steel surfaces? A fine grit aluminum oxide. Corrosion should be removed from magnesium parts with a Stiff non-metallic brush. What should be done to prevent rapid deterioration when oil or grease comes in contact with a tire? Wipe the tire with a dry cloth followed by a wash down and rinse with soap and water. A non-electrolytic chemical treatment for aluminum alloys to increase corrosion resistance and paint bonding qualities is called allodizing. Select the solvent recommended for wipe down of clean surfaces just before painting. Aliphatic naphtha. A primary cause of intergranular corrosion is improper heat treatment. Face surfaces cause concern in chemical cleaning because of the danger of entrapping corrosion metal materials. The rust or corrosion that occurs with most metals is the result of a tendency for them to return to their natural state. Which of the listed condition is not one of the requirements for corrosion to occur? The presence of a passive oxide film. It's not one of the requirements for corrosion to occur. How may a magnesium engine part be clean? Wash with a commercial solvent, decarbonize, and scrap or grit blast. It can be particularly restored by Chemical surface treatment. Select the solvent used to clean acrylic and rubber. Aliphatic naphtha. Nickel cadmium battery cases in drain surfaces which have been affected by the electrolyte should be neutralized 
with a solution of boric acid. A primary reason why ordinary or otherwise non-approved cleaning compounds should not be used when washing aircraft is because their use can result in hydrogen embrittlement in metal structures. Caustic cleaning products used on aluminum structures have the effect of producing corrosion. Why is it important not to rotate the crankshaft after the corrosion preventative mixture has been put into the cylinders on engines prepared for storage? The seal of corrosion preventative mixture will be broken. Which of the following may not be detectable even by careful visual inspection of the surface of aluminum alloy parts structures? Intergranular corrosion, spill mercury on aluminum, causes rapid and severe corrosion that is very difficult to control. The interior surface of a seal structure steel tubing will be the best protective against corrosion by which of the following? A coating of linseed oil. One, in the corrosion process, it is the cathodic area or dissimilar cathodic material that corrodes. Two, in the galvanic or electrochemical series for metals, the most anodic metals are those that will give up electrons most easily. Regarding the above statements, only two is true. Which of the materials is the most cathodic? Stainless steel. Of the following, when or where is galvanic corrosion is most likely to occur? At the surface of a steel fastener and aluminum alloy inspection plate in the presence of electrolyte. Hope you found this video informative question for you is what subject you find it difficult to study share your comments below this video